people are like cell phones. When you charge your phone, you charge it until it gets to 100%. Phones can take a full 12 hours to maintain the charge, but that is because you give it breaks. If you were to be on your phone brand new, on a brand new phone for three hours straight, it will just die. And even less for phones that have been used for a while. The average amount of time it takes to completely recharge your phone is also three hours. So what about people? People are awake for an average of 15 hours and the rest is spent on sleep or rest. The fact that there is an imbalance between being awake and sleep means that people aren't truly recharging to their full, am full amount. I'm going to show you a video talking about the importance of sleep. Today we're going to talk about the importance of sleeping and the 10 scientific health benefits of sleep. We're also going to finish with some proven sleeping tips that will ensure you get a full night's rest and make sure you get the right amount. Before that, let's talk about the health benefits of sleep. Number one, not getting enough sleep is linked to fat. Did you know that lack of sleep is one of the largest risk factors in obesity? In a short study on sleep duration, researchers found that adults not getting enough sleep were 55% more likely to be obese. Worse than that, children were actually 80 9% more likely to be obese when not getting enough sleep. Lack of sleep's association with fat accumulation seems to be for a number of factors, many of which are listed below. Number two, getting the right amount of sleep improves your hormones. Cortisol, your stress hormone, is lowered with the right amount of sleep. Elevated levels of this hormone over time is associated with poor skin quality, obesity, and a long list of other issues. Better sleep has also been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and raise testosterone levels, which will give you more natural energy. Number three, good sleep improves the immune system. Another health benefit of sleep is helping you fight off being sick. In a recent study, people who slept less than seven hours a night are three times more likely to develop a cold than those sleeping over eight hours or more. Number four, sleeping helps improve learning. In a Swiss university study, two groups were introduced to a new language, one group right before bed and one during the daytime. The ones who slept immediately after learning new material learned the language quicker than those in the daytime. So studying before bed seems to be a good idea. Number five, good sleep lowers the risk of developing depression. In a study of twins, researchers found that bad sleep increased the genetic risk of developing depression. In fact, it has been estimated that 90% of patients with depression also suffer from some form of sleep apnea. Number six, people who get more sleep naturally eat less. When you don't get enough sleep, the fluctuations of hormones cause greater cravings and worse appetite control. So if you're someone who trying to lose weight but just can't stay away from the late night snacks, getting in more sleep is something that can probably help. Number seven, sleep helps us empathize with others. Another strange health benefit of sleep is a better understanding of social cues. One study found that those who are sleep deprived lose the ability to properly recognize expressions of anger and happiness in the faces of others. Number eight, sleep improves athletic performance. In a study of basketball players, a better night's rest improved the player's reaction times, speed, and accuracy. Now that we discussed the health benefits of sleep, let's talk about how to get a better night's rest. Oh, no, I'm gonna that. Okay. Um, so a large amount of the world's population is suffering from fatigue, but they don't even know it. So it's important that we get an even amount of sleep or rest required so you can function throughout the day. So at least, I went half and half basically. Since the day is split up in 24 hours, 12 hours of activity, 12 hours of rest. Not necessarily, not necessarily sleeping, but just rest, period. There are many benefits to doing this. Uh, the negatives of fatigue, as shown, were uh, also uh, less focused. You can easily get irritated, and then the physical effects, which was shown through the athletics, also, the uh, physical physical effects such as obesity and mental as far as depression and things like that. Uh, the positives of proper amount of sleep is like to counter to ne the negatives. So everything that was against, that, that was against you, Jesus. Everything that was against you before would, you know, wouldn't be against you if you got the proper amount of sleep and you, overall you get a lot more energy. So 
I would like to ask you, uh, how much sleep did you get last night, and how are you feeling right now? So. Uh, I got four hours of sleep. I feel terrible. Four hours. I got four hours of sleep, and I feel great. <laughs> Anybody else? No way. I think I got about six hours, so I feel okay. You feel okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, how you how do you feel about the subject, or do you agree with getting like an even amount of sleep as activity, or even amount of rest as much as activity? I disagree, because I feel like if you sleep too much, like, I feel like our body is designed to do more work than sleep or rest, as you say, so personally I feel like it's a bad idea, it, makes, it probably changes the whole human race, uh, human thing into lazy people and our future generations are very lazy. Anyone else want to share? I agree with you because working too much is pretty stressful and you need to sleep if like, all that stress is going, so why not sleep more? I agree. I think you need to get an even amount of rest as you do activity, so then like you can function. Thank you for uh, sharing what you all think. Um, in conclusion, I like to say that sleeping is desired and it is required for good health. And you know, good health equals a good life, basically. So thank you for listening to what I have to say about this topic and for your input as well and uh, sleep tight. Thank you.